So Johnny Silverhand is a pretty big deal within the world of Cyberpunk 2077. And today guys, I'll guide you into getting all 8 items which were once owned by Johnny Silverhand. Now some of these are quite straightforward to get, but others are hidden behind certain side quests. And while there's one reward in the game, it don't even tell you you've got. Now before getting these 8 items, you'll also get a secret achievement which you can see on screen now. So it's definitely worth your time getting these things people. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So the obvious items you get you probably already know about are Johnny's Porsche, Jacket and Weapon. These all come from a side mission called Chipping In. But actually guys you get more than just these items from the side mission. In fact you get 6 rewards which are all specifically Johnny's loot. You get the Porsche, the jacket, the pistol, but you also get glasses, his vest and his arm. But there's actually no indication that you get his arm from this mission. But before we get into that, the side mission for those that do not know and how it's unlocked is as follows. Chipping in is a side mission which automatically opens up once you complete Tapeworm. This auto completes when you do 4 main story missions. The 4 missions are Automatic Love, Transmission, Livestream Wartime and Search and Destroy. Within these missions you chat with Johnny and the outcome is also completing the side mission of Tapeworm which then opens up Chipping In. Chipping In is a mission where you and Rogue go on the hunt for Adam Smasher. Now at certain stages of this mission you are rewarded Johnny's gear. Firstly you get Johnny's Samurai Jacket. Later on in the mission you eventually come across a guy called Grayson. He gives you Johnny's gun. After you've got his gun it's important that you do not kill him. And when the dialogue option pops up, you need to select You Got Lucky. Doing this, you will get the keys to a container which gives you Johnny's Porsche. Now, a little advice from here on further on this mission. Continue on with the mission where you take Johnny to his grave, but do all you can to befriend him. You want to be pals with Johnny. Now, completing this mission, you are also rewarded Johnny's sunglasses and vest along the way. But you also get Johnny's arm here, people, and it comes in the form of a hologram. But there's no indication that you get this. But if you go into your backpack, you'll go down and see a common item which looks like Johnny's arm. If you click on it, it comes up equipped. But even then, there's nothing to suggest that you have this thing on. But if you carry on and play the game as normal, once you catch a glimpse of his left arm, you will see Johnny's arm hologrammed over your current arm. And it does look cool as heck. And that's how this is applied, guys. But the loot, Johnny's loot, doesn't end there. You can also get his pants, or his trousers, and his shoes. So let's start with his pants. These are looted within a side mission gig of Psycho Fan. And as you can see on screen now where this isn't what to do, it's pretty straightforward, follow the route I take to get these people. Once obtained, feel free to finish the mission. Can't have bad luck all the time. Save you some time. It's none of these. How do you know? Cause say what you will about Kerry, but he knew guitars. And these are all hot trash. And Johnny's shoes are tied to another side mission which you can see the location to on screen now. The side mission is called Family Heirlooms and to unlock this mission you have to be a street cred level of 4 and you must have completed the main story mission of Ghost Town which is a ninth mission after the prologue. Now here within this mission you do have to take out a few enemies but once you have entered this room as I do on screen and grab the shoes people. Also like I said you do get a secret achievement or trophy called breathtaking for getting all 8 pieces of Johnny's items which is pretty epic. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I hope it helps you out. And here we have it, all 8 pieces of Johnny's loot. 
On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. I remember that gig. Blew my vocal cords out so hard I couldn't speak for a week. Wow, man. That must have been fun to watch. What, the gig? No, you're not speaking for an entire week.